back in the uh, passenger seat of my car today. So you can probably tell there's a bit of a glare on the driver's side. I'm in Scunthorpe today and I thought that whole sunny scunny thing was a bit of a joke, but turns out it is pretty sunny here. Anyway, it should be a quick video today because this should be the last video before the start of the Miami mini series. Are you serious? Assuming, of course, I can actually fly out there. This whole coronavirus thing kind of feels like the end of days. The end of days, I, I come on. Nothing alike. Arnold reference, had to get it in there. Anyway, if you follow me on social media, you probably know by now that sadly the World Croquetta Eating Championships that was flying out to Miami to compete in has now been canceled because of public health concerns. And I can't get a refund on my flights. So um, I hate to waste things. I figured I'd just fly out there for a few days, do some food challenges, maybe hook up with my boy Nate Figs and uh, film some fun stuff. But um, who knows, the situation's evolving. So hopefully I'll make it out there. But uh, today I'm doing a, a food challenge at kind of a weird place. It's like a lakeside lodge kind of thing. But uh, the restaurant here does a food challenge. All the bells and whistles, you get a free t-shirt if you win. So um, I thought I'd go in there and it looks pretty small to me, famous last words, but I kind of thought I might order two. Just have a bit of a laugh with the uh, staff. I wasn't supposed to rhyme, but um, I'll probably fail it now. Anyway, let's, let's get inside. I love this. See that? Disclaimer. Seven Lakes Country Park. Cannot take responsibility for any heart-related injuries, jaw dislocations, or strain injuries. Never know. Could happen. This might sound a bit mental, but instead of doing one, can I order two? You can if you want to. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty hungry today, so let's let's go with two. So uh, today I'm at uh, Seven Lakes Restaurant and Bar. Bar and Restaurant, yeah. Close enough, right? <laughs> and I'm taking on this uh, flatline challenge, but I'm, I'm doing it twice because it looked like it was pretty small to me. It turns out it's, it's not that small, but still it should be a lot of fun. If you, uh, if you finish, you get a free t-shirt, right? Free t-shirt, yeah. How many people have finished? One. Just one, and that's the lady talking to me right now. A lot of girl power, right? A lot, a lot of men have failed. But uh, the lady that's talking to me right now has, has conquered one of these, so... Let me fist bump, I'll put it there. <laughs> right, let's get started. Can't wait to get stuck into this, it looks delicious. I don't actually know what's in it, probably should have researched that in advance, but I'll tell you in the commentary. Let's get started. Unlike most food challenges, you could probably eat this as intended as a, you know, a regular burger. M maybe not. There's a, a sausage in here. What's up, Bid Army? Welcome back. Sausage is even turning up in uh, burger challenges now. Will the sausage eating never end? <laughs> Probably not. I love eating sausages. Anyway, welcome back to another video. Oh, there's, a, there's an egg in there too. Stay in school. Sound advice indeed for the... Uh, toddler just walking past my table there looking incredibly confused all right one burger down I have no idea why but they uh, they give you packets of butter as if this isn't <laughs> unhealthy enough as it is <laughs> I'm trying to get sauce but my fingers are too slippery All right, the, the sauce isn't happening. I wanted to sauce up the chips, but whatever. Oh, thank you very much. Must have seen me doing battle with the, the mayonnaise. Yeah, fingertip dexterity, not really my thing. As Mrs. Beard will attest to. <laughs> this bottle of mayo is just covered in goo now. It feels terrible. So I'm assuming this one is actually open already. Oh, <laughs> here we go. 
Yeah, we got there in the end. As you can see, I'm employing the uh, the same tactic as uh, as last week at Sinners Club. Just looping up these chips with uh, lots of mayo. <laughs> I love that this burger has uh, Cumberland sausages in there. This is definitely a, a British style burger. There are plenty of American style burgers out there, but this is um, this is definitely a British style one. I'm sorry about my bed. Do you have any napkins? Yeah, I'll oh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this was a deceptively thothy burger, so it turned out to be messier than I expected. <laughs> wow, <Nice>. thank you. <laughs> Plenty of napkins there. It's messy, but it's, it is really delicious. Delicious indeed, and yes, if you're wondering, I did take the napkins home. We're going through a bit of a loo roll shortage here in, uh, in Britain. And uh, that, that's a dangerous thing for a man in my profession. All right, the burgers are pretty much done. Just the uh, the fries now. I think I meant to say just the sides now, because clearly there's a, a little bit more than uh, fries left to uh, to finish. We got onion rings. Love a good onion ring. Pickles and uh, of course the the dreaded corn on the cob. You get to see me uh, tussle with that in uh, in just a second. Hopefully it won't be the um, the second inanimate object in the video to uh, get the best of me. That mayo was uh, it was tricky. Oh, so look at the pictures. I was thinking that's basically a, a Big Mac meal, right? But I think there's some kind of gravitational singularity in these trays. There's just so many chips. Yeah, probably don't need to get into theoretical physics though. The food. Let's talk about the food. I was pleasantly surprised, you know, because this is a bit of a strange place to have an eating challenge, right? Because it's essentially like a, a lodge rental slash static home community thing. I mean, there's a nice lake outside, plenty of boats on there, sailing up and down. I'm sure it'd be very picturesque in the summer months, but not really the kind of place you'd expect the food to be any good. But it was, it was a, a real surprise to me. I was really impressed with how well the ingredients were cooked. The fried chicken in there was, was succulent. Even the burger patties, I mean, they came out warm, which is a, a plus. But even those had a unique flavor. This is taking longer than I expected. <laughs> yeah, just because it's a holiday village, it's no excuse for a holiday attitude. <laughs> that's uh, that's just me though. I, I was enjoying it. What can I say? The uh, I love the, the kind of British vibe to the burger, you know, there was some some very herby, kind of quite earthy pub style flavors. Missed a little bit of egg. Pickles. Woo. <sighs> These things are sour. <coughs> oh man, these uh, these pickles. Don't get me wrong, I'm a pickle fan. I like them, but these things were the sourest things I've ever eaten. These things are tart. Ooh. That that sounds like I'm exaggerating too, but I, I'm really not. They were painful to eat. It's like the world's sourest pickle challenge or something. These are, these are pretty tough to eat. Making the size of my jaw hurt. The dreaded corn. Oh, those pickles. <coughs> Yeah, thank God I had the cook. I, I was happy to see the back of those pickles, but the, the, the cook definitely helped take the, the edge off. A lot of people in the, in the last video, which contained corn, told me to run a knife down it, which I have done before. Sadly, I don't have any uh, cutlery right now, so I'm just gonna stick with the, I don't wanna say good old technique, but just the old technique. I think I'm using the, the word technique <laughs> a little bit loosely there. There is no real technique to it, but a um, few words on the, the challenge. You don't actually get the meal free if you finish it, so it's a pay to play, but you do get, as I mentioned, a free winner's t-shirt. I think the World Sweet Corn Eating Championship is in April sometime. It's safe to say, I'm not quite prepared for that one just yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think maybe we'll give that, that contest um, a wide berth. Assuming it happens though, you know, the, the eating season's in a bit of jeopardy right now, but we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll catch you at the next one. Do the, uh, the, the packets of butter count or am I good? You're good, you're good. That's a relief. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
Yeah. <laughs> T-shirt. We'll have a picture in them together in a minute. Don't I get two? I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, everywhere's the same. I don't think I've ever got like a small t-shirt from anywhere. It's always like XXL or something like that. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to just sit here admiring the, the sweet corn. But <laughs> you, could, you could take it. Do you want... Uh, is there a dessert menu? <laughs> no, but yeah, I'm, I'm tempted now. I want something a little bit sweet before I go. Oreo waffle.